Justin first started to show signs of androgenic alopecia in 2017. This appears to be an androgenic alopecia. By 2018, he already appeared to be a Norwood too. And in 2021, he had dreadlocks. And we discussed how traction alopecia can sometimes result from tighter hairstyles. But there were no signs of a hair transplant back then. But in 2022, Justin wore hats throughout most of the year. Did he have something to hide? Towards the end of 2021, Justin may have had a hair transplant to the frontotemporal areas. My guess is that this was an FUE procedure, follicular unit extraction. By February of 2023, his hairline is looking less recessed, but the density is not quite like his original hair. 